Welcome back to my next video. As you see, we're in the middle of the dark here, hunting some spiders to get some string and see if we can get some bows. Sword has informed me that he has plenty of string to make me a bow, but I want to collect some string so he can get one. Don't want him to be left out. Today, we're going to try to kill a few more spiders and see if we can collect some mob drops. And then we're going to go caving. We really need to get caving on so we can try to get an iron gear or long. That really is the first tier. You'd it's a lot harder to collect leather, because you want to use leather for books rather than for armor. So, is that another spider? Or is that drowned? It's armor. What? Armor? Is that a full set of armor? Where did that come from? Some guy died? I hear drowned. Where are you? You're not getting me. Escaping. No, no. That's weird, a full set of gold armor. I guess a skeleton or a zombie must have died with him? Let's wear this shiny gold armor on my red body. Looks very strange, but... I guess some armor is better than no armor. Oh, some lava, this is a good location. In case we need to create another portal. Don't really want to use that for smelting, because it's a limited of it, amount of it in Overworld. Well, that includes night for now, so I guess it's daytime, and it'll be perfect time to go back and farm some more dark oak. If I'm not lost. I might be lost. Let's see. No, I'm not lost. This is the dark oak. That's where we came from. Let's go over here and collect some. And we can maybe run over there and collect some spruce. I can see those spruce trees in the distance. That'll be perfect. Do I not have an axe? Oh, I didn't create one. So... Let's create crafting table and then look up because I hear zombie noise and you keep on the lookout so I don't die to a creeper in the middle of nowhere I guess everywhere is nowhere when you first start your world I have armor now so I shouldn't be too much worried now but I don't have a good weapon so where the skeleton go two skeletons oh shoot Got him. Got him, got him, got him. There we go. First two skeletons. Down. Too bad you can't collect their arrows. Did they drop any? Yes, they dropped three. That's perfect. We make those bows, we'll have plenty of arrows. For a couple shots, at least. Another spider. Should probably kill him. Chance. They're not aggressive during the day, so... Good chance to get a couple hits on them before they attack. Here's one of those mushrooms I was talking about. This would be a great opportunity for us to collect some of those. Maybe make some mushrooms stew. Now let's put down our crafting table and build that X. Uh oh, someone's lost. Uh, I'll have to help them in a moment. What if I were to make different colored axes and other wood types? That'd be kind of cool. A dark oak X? That'd be really interesting. Okay, so let's pause our adventure here and go see if we can help Sword. Sword is before me, he's found his way back, so we don't need to worry about him for now. You always want to help your buddies if they get lost. You don't want to leave them hanging. It's not really fair to them. It's no fun if everyone's lost. Especially early game, we're not going to know much about our surroundings. So we're not going to get lost pretty, pretty easily. I still hear a spider. But I don't know where he is. Where are you, spider? I can sense you. With my profound hearing. Oh, there you are. You can really spam it. Can't really do that in Java. They said they're going to change that. I think it's because they want to change it to match more closely with uh, what Bedrock can do. Because it's much harder to get the swings in on Bedrock for phones. You can try to make a trade. Let's see how he does. Don't be too critical of your friends. If they don't build something that's great, that's okay. You can always help them make it better later. We should get a few Dark Oak saplings while we're while we're still here. We want to make some shears, but we're going to have to get some iron before we make any shears. And that requires mining. So we're going to have to go on a mining trip, I think, today. Our first real mining trip to get some iron. Maybe some gold. And hopefully, eventually, some diamonds. I think there's a village near here, if I remember correctly. We'll have to check that out, too. I hope it 
doesn't break the game when it upgrades, updates to the village and village update fully. I want my old villagers to crop my world. I might have to slay a couple of them. It comes down to it. It's hard to downgrade a version, so if an update does break your game, it would be quite a nuisance to uh, deal with that. So, we'll have to deal with that when we get there. 64 logs plus 36. I think that's enough dark oak for now. Let's go get some spruce while the day is still young. Probably isn't anymore, but still, we still need some spruce. Probably just making cobblestone stuff, but right now we have plenty of wood, so. We'll come back here and get some more saplings so we can grow these closer to home. But for now, I think this is good. Okay, so how do we get out of here? Probably looking for those spruce trees. There they are. Don't want to get too far from home. Don't want to make the file size too big before it has to be. But eventually this place is going to be huge. I just feel it. I think we're going to have some great time here making a lot of builds. That's a lot of big plans. Some big farms. Uh, and make a couple of tutorials on them. And you don't really see a lot of bedrock tutorials, unfortunately. So it would be great if I can figure them out myself. And they say that... What's wrong with my hand? <laughs> they don't say that. But what was wrong with my hand? Why is it way over there? Isn't it? I don't know. Let's see if we can collect some spruce. Here's some gravel. I don't think we need that right now. Well, I have an egg. That may be good for making a cake, but not really much else. It may be making a chicken farm, but you need a couple eggs if you want to do that. Let's mine these trees up and maybe collect a few saplings so we can bring them home. Because these are quite far away. Uh, fun fact, witches are going to be neutral in the next update. I don't know if it's going to be for this version. But in Java, they're a neutral mob during the day, so that'd be interesting. And they also have a new skin. Speaking of new skins, a lot of new textures are coming out, and I think they just recently came out for this version of Minecraft on Bedrock. They're on the marketplace. I think we're going to have to play them eventually. So this could be the color of Minecraft. And I think a lot of them are a significant improvement over the old textures. A lot of the old textures are very nostalgic, though. Still want to be playing on the newest version with the newest textures. Is that it for this tree? I guess so. Thought that tree was a little taller. Let's break it with the dirt so we don't ruin the durability on our items. Hopefully we can get a sapling. I think I just got one. Yep, some saplings. That'd be perfect. Maybe we can make a giant spruce tree. Wants me to gather some flint for some arrows. Oh, inventory's full. Get rid of this egg. There we go. Can we collect some more spruce wood? How much do we have? We only have 16. First, we have more. Let's organize our wood. You collect a lot more uh, dark oak than you do spruce, so let's go over here and collect some more spruce. How is it? Getting ready to be dark soon. Let's go over here and cut down some more of these spruce trees. I don't want to take too much damage. But you know, damage is inevitable. You can't avoid it. I really like spruce, but it's not as good as a block to me as dark oak. Dark oak is very pretty for me. It goes really well with quartz. But it's going to be a while before we get any quartz. And you can make a very uh, starkly contrasting build with dark oak. But spruce is always a good complement to dark oak. They're both the darkest woods, so they naturally work well together. And that's what we make our first house out of. Let's get a few more spruce logs, and we'll be out of here. Let's get home. Now it's turning night. Probably should have left a little bit earlier, but what can you do? Let's see if we can make it back there without dying. Oop, some gravel. Let's click that real quick. I think this biome is a good biome for collecting gravel spawns here in usually abundant quality quantities. Select that and get on our way. So let's get back on our way home. Oh, there's our first enderman. Let's see if there's anybody else around. We'll create a pillar. And then use this to use this to branch off of. 
make it too tall so he can't get to us. Make it fairly wide so he can slap us. That's great. Okay, we're gonna need some more Ender Pearls. Whoever wanna get a stronghold to get to the end. Okay, where are you going? What are you doing? Okay. First time killing an Enderman. Let's see how that works out for us. Last time I fought one, first time I played survival, I died. Where'd he go? And then it killed Sword, which is not a good thing. Oh, shoot. I didn't know this would be so easy to break with a sword. Where'd he go? Is this the same guy or a different one? I don't remember them spawning this often. He's close to me. Come on, where are you guys? Is that it? Is that the only Enderman? Or is the other one on top of me? I might be on top. Is he on top? No, where'd he go? It was weird. Okay, hi Enderman. Let's kill him and get on our way. Any Ender Pearls? Did he drop any? I don't think so. Clear up this dirt so that it's not ugly fying the landscape. After all, this is gonna be a long term world and we don't want it to look too ugly, do we? Don't be worried if you create builds on your world and they don't look so great. Play Minecraft the way you want to play it. And if you're just interested in the survival aspect, that's great. But if you want to get better, you can always work on your builds and improve how they look. Yeah, over that river, we should be home. Save from these spiders. Avoid these creepers. Let's swim home. Or not. Or am I going home? I don't know where I'm going. It should be this way. Hope I'm not lost. Let's, we'll see if I'm lost. That's why I turned coordinates on, because otherwise. I would never find my way home, and we'll be a new home every every episode. That's just the way things go. I remember um, the one I played Survival just for the little time I did play. I got lost. Couldn't find my way back to spawn, so uh, I had to make a new house, because that was, was just it. And then months later, I went back to the world. I explored it in creative and actually found the home. Don't just hit me. Stupid drought. It's an auto shell. That could be useful. Oh, shoot. I'm like, where are I? Where are you? Where's this guy? More drowned, is there? Yeah, there's plenty. Oh, that one has a trident, doesn't he? I saw you with your hand up. Yeah, that's a trident, isn't it? Oh, yep. Gotta get away from that. Maybe I can ambush him. Will he come on the land? Like his buddy over here? Or he's still in the water to shoot at me. Okay, get a lot closer. Come on, die here. Nope, I killed him. Did he drop the trident? No, those are pretty rare. I wouldn't think so. Okay, let's get out of here before I die hideously. Those guys can be really pesky. I wouldn't know from experience, but from all the videos I've watched, they can be quite deadly. But I guess it's a little bit different on this version. You can kind of spam it like Ant and Java, so... I think this is our home. Yeah, there it is over there. Let's get away from those skeletons. And go heal up. Let's go to the mine and get some of the food that Sword had cooked up. Avoid those skeletons. Hopefully avoid the zombies. I was lucky to find one of the trident. They don't spawn very often. But I guess because we're living so close to the water, they're spawning a lot more often than we hope. Is that my base, or is that just the lava? I think that's the lava we found earlier. Already lost, but close. We'll get there eventually. There's our home, way over there. Past this ravine. Can't sprint anymore, so we're just gonna have to leisurely walk. This is our first hole. Okay. Let's go over here and maybe kill this cow. There's Sword, there he is. Still fearless and friends. Hey. Still here with us. He'll be with us for a little bit. I think maybe next episode. Might be busy. 
Let's kill these cows and get back home. What time is it? It's almost day anyway. But we want to get back home until we can eat. Always on the precipice of starving to death. A lot more furnaces. Ooh, some iron. Someone's been doing some work. We be about Mr. Sword. Here are the people I tell you. It's a lot more fun if you could play with friends, so if you have any, you should fight them on. But don't fight anyone on that's gonna troll you. We had that problem. And let me tell you, it's not fun. Play with people you know are gonna play fun very fairly. Maybe mess with you only once in a while. Wanna pick up those doors before they despawn? Do we have any coal in these? No. Let's cook up some food and leave some for swords since you're so kind of to leave it for us. An iron chest plate yet? I'll build you one. I have some gold armor, so I'll give you a chest plate. Leave it in the chest for you. Always want to make sure we gotta add our buddies, so they're doing some. So then he's safe. Don't want him to die either. He's a lot more skilled than I am, but he can still die, so. Got this fancy gold armor. I mean, look at me. <laughs> look at the face. <laughs> isn't that the sign of... <laughs> okay, isn't that a good sign of uh, wealth right there? Gold and red, I guess? Okay. Let's stop looking at my ugly mug and <laughs> start eating again before we start it up. Well, looks like it's daytime. And he's building the tree over there. Looks like a crucifix right now. <laughs> it's okay. You know, I think it could do with a little bit of work, but I think it could make something beautiful. Maybe you should move the leaves up. It shouldn't be so low. Give yourself some trunk room, and maybe make it a little bit, the trunk a little bit thicker. Well, while Mr. Sword over there is finishing his tree, uh, I think we'll, we'll go try to do some mining. We don't have much time left, so let's get to it while we can. I think we should go back to the mine shaft we were using earlier. We have to go quite a ways deeper if we want to get any iron. And eventually, hopefully, some diamonds. We should probably stop and go get some torches. It's a dead tree. Well, it could be anything you want it to be. That's the beauty of Minecraft. It doesn't turn out right the first time, change it to what you want. You know, Good Times with Scar made some great videos on how to make some trees. Maybe we could take some of his advice. But we don't have to, we can always create what we want. That's the beauty of the, mine the game called Minecraft, you can do whatever you want. And you can always change it later. But it doesn't have to be set in stone the first time. But eventually, you kinda have to say it's done, otherwise you'd be stuck in it forever. Probably gonna mine until I find some iron or something. Well, I think I'm going to work a little bit more on this offline and try to collect some more resources so then we can start off with something worthwhile in the next video. So, until then, I hope you guys had a great day, and if you didn't have a great one today, there's always tomorrow. I'll see you then.